It's a fiercely competitive world out there and many of us are trying not only to shine but also to make a mark. And even if you are your own boss, it requires an enormous amount of hard work and dedication to make it out there, as I learned when I met up with Ravan Raghunanan. As an electronic media personality, Ravan is accustomed to rubbing shoulders with celebrities. But this hasn't affected his work ethic. A modelling assignment for a glossy magazine meant a very early morning start. Getting going in the morning can often be a race against the clock, leaving you feeling like you'll never catch up with the rest of the day. My pre-dawn calls are a little bit like that, but that is definitely not the case for Ravan Raghunanan, who's already working when the rest of us are stuck in rush hour traffic. Ravan didn't originally have a showbiz career in mind until his Facebook profile caught the eye of an industry insider. That may sound like an easy entrance, but Ravan is more than willing to sweat for success. Look at those guns! <laughs> yeah, I need to work on my arms. I, I really don't think you need to work on those guns. So we've watched you work as a model. How do you create a particular look for a brief and how do you project it? Well, it all depends, Zach. I mean, look, right now I'm at gym, so t-shirt, track pants, it's obvious. But it always depends where you're going, what type of event you're going to and who you're going to meet at the end of the day. So we have one more look. Are you ready to check it out? Are you going to take off your top? Possibly, <laughs> if you want me to. <laughs> Well, you wanted me shirtless. <laughs> In fact, you're out on time. Hold on. You're going to help me with these. Great. Mm -hmm. Okay. And let's go it's through pretty. it. Make sure it goes through all of them. Okay, wait. I'm not too bad at this. Oh, there we go. Okay, there we go. And then, oh, Zach. Uh, woo! Yeah. So who has Ravan before a model, media personality and entrepreneur? Well, basically, I had this big mop on my hair, shiniest mop ever. Um, acne, pimples, you name it. Uh, but at least I developed a personality and that's how I made friends. And I always was the top of my grade. Would you say it's as important to broaden your horizons as it is to get an education? I think the most important thing above everything, education, expanding your horizons, and I guess it all fits in, is to just gain knowledge. Be knowledgeable, travel, read, meet new people. I think that's very important because you sort of get an idea of what the world is and how big it is and what you can do. How did you make the switch from economics to the entertainment industry? Well, Zach, initially I studied economics, econometrics and investment management at UJ. Graduated in 2014. Um, but, you know, I started in banking and I hated it. I hated analyzing spreadsheet after spreadsheet and doing the same thing. It was very monotonous. So that's when I was approached by Shilendra Bansilal. He's the producer on a TV channel. Um, and I became a television presenter. Of course, this was like a hobby part-time. But then I grew this horrible passion for it that I wanted to do it all the time. So that's how I got into entertainment eventually. Would you tell anyone who wants to succeed in the entertainment industry that it's not just fun, but it's also a business? Well, Zach, I was one of those people. I thought it was just a whole lot of fun. But that was when I was doing it part-time. When you actually do it full-time, you realize that it is a business. The worst part, it's your own business. It's you as a person. You have to project a brand and an image, and that filters down into your career. Even if he did hate the job, when he suited up, Ravan can still project the image of a Wall Street wolf, which even the nerdy frames can't really disguise. He has entrepreneurial ambitions and he's aiming high. You're a partner in an exciting new business venture. What is this all about? Well, the business venture is called Star Attraction. And basically, we operate in three sectors. We do event management. The second is talent management. The third sector is PR. How do you get taken seriously in the modeling and communications industry? Well, I think as a young person, it's always difficult to be taken seriously in general. No one takes you seriously, no investor, no agency, unless you really have astounding good looks. I think how you really get yourself noticed out there is, one, your education. Make sure that you have education. Um, make sure that you are well networked, of course, know a bunch of people. The most important thing for me that I realized, have confidence. You have to be able to walk out there, speak to anyone, walk into a boardroom full of investors and convince them. So Zach, I have one more shoot today and then we can keep chatting. Shoot away. His business interests haven't cramped his style or his public profile. And Ravan has also been shortlisted for an international modeling and manhunt contest. <laughs> it feels so good to finally sit down. It must be so hard being so good looking. Oh, funny, funny. You should know. Come on. Speaking about sitting down and relaxing, how do you relax and unwind? I start off with doing some yoga. Love yoga. Love meditating. It's very relaxing. But after a long day, you don't really want to get into yoga pants and a vest. You just want to pour yourself a glass of wine 
best way to relax. So where to from here in terms of modeling? Have you thought of the acting scene locally or maybe Bollywood? Well, I actually attended Anupam Kher's acting school in Mumbai in Juhu. And it was such an awesome experience and I'd love to get into acting. Uh, as for star attraction, we also want to build South African movies. I mean, they're so great, you know. I want to get into that acting as well and build the movie industry. I mean, I think we're going places. What advice do you have for aspiring entrepreneurs? Number one, remember that it's going to be hard work, extremely hard work. You get into it, you think, ha, ah, flexible times. You're going to be working with no working hours. It's extremely difficult, so hard work. Have a strategy, know where you're going, set goals, have a vision. Everyone has a vision of who they want to become, so have the same vision for your business. Thank you so much for your time. You have been truly inspiring. Ah, thanks, Zach. Appreciate it. Cheers, Cheers to that. To that. <laughs>